I think that, yes, um, running absolutely did give me my life back. Um, and it has time and time again. So I was not a runner before. I actually hated running. <laughs> it was not easy for me. I have asthma and it, it was more torture than anything. And um, I was pregnant with my daughter and I had some complications in delivery and it left me initially paralyzed. And while the paralysis didn't last all too long, um, I was left without the use of my right leg from the knee down and that lasted for quite a while. Um, the neurologist did not know if I would ever walk again. I had an amputation plan in place because um, I figured I would probably get more of my life back if I got rid of the bottom half of my leg that wasn't working um, rather than being regulated to a, a wheelchair or a walker for the rest of my life. I just slowly started fighting and, and working my way back and did the physical therapy, did the work, and the nerves slowly started coming back and regenerating. I went to my neurologist and asked if I could run, and he said, you runners are all crazy. You know, you must have been a runner before because you're the last person on this planet that should be running. He said that there was no medical reason not to run, um, so in that sense, he gave me his blessings, but also let me know he thought that I was crazy. And I just listened to my body and I, I started running, uh, embarrassingly slow at the beginning. Um, I was getting passed by 90 year olds out on the road and uh, just kept at it because I just kept telling myself, you know, at least I'm here doing it because knowing where, what my story was and where I had come from, that at least I was out there doing it and I didn't give up. And I celebrated when I ran my first mile. That was huge for me. And then I was curious if I could do two. And when I did two, then I was curious if I could do four. And kind of with this new passion of running, I was just curious as to what my body could actually do after having been paralyzed. And so I just kept running and just kept being curious as to what my next goal could be. And I kept meeting them. And within a year of starting running, I uh, finished my first marathon. You know, and seeing what exactly were my limits. I was very curious, you know, like what, what can I get away with? What, what, what can I do? And I, I just set my mind to wanting to do a marathon and uh, thought it was kind of crazy myself and just wanted, wanted to see that I could do it and wanted to prove that that I could do it after everything I had overcome. Uh, there was something in me that was just telling me to get running, and I can't really explain it. Um, it just kind of came to me. I wasn't, like I said, a runner beforehand, but uh, I still had a lot of residual nerve damage. I was still in a lot of pain, and I, I remember sitting on the couch and I was just thinking, well, if this is as good as it gets, I might as well get going. And if this is what I have to work with, so be it. And so I thought, okay, running, I can do running. I am a runner now. I love the feeling that it gets. There's nothing like that runner's high. Um, doesn't matter what's going on in my world or what bad day I'm having. You know, that, that gets it. That, that rights every wrong in the world right now for me. It, it brings everything back into focus and into balance. <laughs> 